All right, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. This is for Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius, your readings have been really amazing. We're going to see if it continues to be that way. Okay, sorry. Oh, that was two. Okay. You have the bull, you have the rabbit, and you have the parrot. Look, you actually even have the fox at the bottom of the deck. Whoa, I don't think this has ever happened where you had all animals, okay? Okay, so different people, personality traits, different circumstances you're going to be experiencing. Some good and maybe not some, not so good, right? When you look at the bull, I feel like the bull is basically, these two may go together, okay? Where it talks about you not backing down or being bullied in some kind of way. Um, maybe because you're not putting up boundaries or you're not saying no to somebody. You, you get what it's, this is what it's saying. Do not back down from opposition. Show your strength, show your fortitude. So, you know, um, it's not saying that you have to be aggressive, but I do feel like in, you know, in terms of people trying to get away with things or wanting you to do what they want you to do, you need to have a voice, okay? Parrot is a voice, parrot is a voice. But in this reading, it talks about that someone using a, you know, their voice against you or in some way betraying you because it talks about someone gossiping about your secrets. So it could be the same person or it could be a friend. Sometimes it's a family member. Okay. So this is a warning that someone is listening to what you say and recording everything that you say. Okay. And someone could be recording you. So let's just say if you're at work, and, you know, and I, it's so funny because I, I know for a fact I had a boss like that. My boss was was certain that I wasn't working when she wasn't around. And, um, you know, I've always been psychic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I know that bosses are petty like that. They can do things like that. And sometimes it's not. It could be voice. It could be a recorder. It could be a, you know, video camera or whatever. Um, you know, and sometimes this is even around your home or something like that. People are watching and listening what you do. And it's not always about friends, okay? So I just want to put that out there. So somebody, somebody is trying to be all up in your business, okay? Here with rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Now this could be you. Sometimes you can, you know, deal with people just because you're horny or accept relationships just because you, you know, you're just concerned about sex and you don't have a partner right now. So you deal with the trash that's out there, okay? I don't want to say trash. You deal with the nonsense that's out there, okay? I'm just, just going to make it nicer or say it nicer. Um, you could be also dealing with someone who is just sex crazed. Could it be this person here who don't have boundaries and pushing your boundaries? Could be. Now, your last one is really good here with the fox. This is really good because it talks about shrewdness, resourcefulness, and being really good in business. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Now, what we're going to do here, Aquarius, we spent so much time on those three cards. I didn't expect for that to happen. We're going to go ahead and see what's going to come out here for you. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius, you're being smart about everything. You're being smart about a lot of things. Well, look at that. One thing that I do see here is you needing to feel stable. You need to feel tr like you can trust people and that people are trustworthy. And the Ace of Pentacles is a stable energy. So I do feel like there's been people in your life or people who have been around you that has caused a lot of um, unstableness. Um, you've been around deception. I still feel somebody around you is a liar. And um, I feel like you're gonna find that out. But you know, the Ace of Pentacles is the beginning of the stability. So you may have to put, you may have to, 
you know, remove people out of your life or set boundaries like we talked about before, because truly the Ace of Pentacles are opportunities are going to come your way in love and, you know, finances. And you don't need people who are around you who wish you not harm, but just they're jealous. And, you know, it's it's about it's too much about what you're doing and not enough of what they should be doing. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I do see here with the Ace of Pentacles that there's going to be huge opportunities here for you, um, definitely with money, uh, possible potential long term committed relationship. But, you know, you have to you have to be wise about your choices in love. Because, again, with that bully card, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. You may love someone, but they also could be very convincing and get you to do things and accept things that you don't want to accept. Sometimes it's family members and sometimes it's in a love relationship. I do sense deception around you. This is for Aquarius. Ace of Wands. I feel like there's there's this whole new world that's opening up for you where you're going to feel more acceptable, except I'll say more, more accepted by people, more acceptable of yourself and more confident. I see that you guys are going to be able to, it's like there's, yeah, magnetize almost draw people towards you to help you to, you know, assist you in areas that you weren't necessarily getting help in before, you know, I do feel like there's somebody around you though. I'm telling you, somebody around you who's a little, who's jealous of what you have or what you're about to obtain. And it's not to make you feel paranoid, you know, because it, it's not. I just feel like you could be around someone who's par paranoid. Not to make you paranoid, but you could be around someone who's paranoid. <laughs> Who suffers from paranoia, right? Meaning, they're afraid that you're going to succeed so much. They're afraid that you're going to be the person that's on top. And it's like, it's okay, you know? I don't know who this person is. Maybe they feel like you're going to leave them behind in some way. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a mom, but I mean, it could be someone who's like a mother figure. Why do I see that there could be also a baby that's going to be born out of wedlock or born out of a connection? You're around somebody who is like addicted to sex or addicted to like different people needing validation. For you singles, I'm telling you right now, your money is going to be on point. I really do feel like you guys are going to find the love of your life for you single people. Because I feel like most of you have gotten rid of people who were sneaky and deceptive. Yeah, you're going to find peace. You're moving away from toxicity. Exactly. So I feel like for a lot of you singles, you've already moved away from some type of toxicity or toxic situation. And for some of you, you're about to do that. You need peace in your heart. You need peace in your life. Because again, like I said before, there's someone that's causing an imbalance. You know, a lot of you have been sitting in sadness for a while and it's like, you got to, again, you got this fresh start that's about to happen for you where you'll get more grounded. That business, that business aspect looks so good for you. Oh my God. It looks so good. It's like you guys understand business, but it's like you understand business, but you know, truth be told, you still have some pain that you are trying to get over. <sighs> I see it. That's what I'm saying. Did you hear? Did somebody like, what happened here? Where someone, where you feel betrayed. Cause that's what, I don't ever say that about the Ten of Swords. Anytime it comes out, I very seldom ever use that, that definition. 
Um, but this is exactly what this is. This feels like betrayal. Because remember, we started off talking about that, how people are gossiping, you know, telling your secrets, telling your business, watching you, listening and trying, you know, just trying to see what your weaknesses are. But it's, almost, it's over, right? You got the Ten of Swords. Things are definitely about to get better for you really soon. And I see you in a more comfortable place, a more peaceful place. This is for Aquarius. Yeah, that drama that you've been in, exactly. Oh, expansion. Are some of you guys pregnant or planning on having children? <laughs> I see a fight that could break out because of a kid. This could be a child's mother. This could be your mother, okay? Somebody's mother, child's mother, your mother, their mother. Someone that had a kid because again, they could not keep it in their pants or keep their legs closed or something like that is what I'm saying. This is how the betrayal really happens. Yeah, because then when I do this card, four swords come out, makes me feel like someone really got hurt or someone is finding out something that really hurt them. I mean, really hurt them. Let's get the last card for Aquarius. We're going to get back to the, yeah, exactly. Man, I knew it. Oh, there's definitely about to be a shakeup. But peace is coming, I tell you that. It feels like a shakeup, not in your business. Your business is about to expand, hands down. Your interpersonal relationships, there's about to be a change in that. Um, you know, like I said, it could be a lover, definitely. Yes, definitely. Friend, family member. But this is about to be some type of shakeup, okay? I'll talk to you soon.